Good evening, everybody. I'm joined with a special guest. Let's move over this way. Get closer. There we go. Sure. I'm going to move forward a bit as well, so now we've got the same sort of size head. We're rubbing if I, shoulders. If I sit up a bit straighter. How is everybody? I'm all right, thanks, mate. Good. Good to hear. How are you? Are we like, I'm not bad, mate. <laughs> I'm not too bad. Welcome, everybody, to uh, another live stream tonight. Tonight, as you can see, we're going to be talking about the mental mindset and how it affects us runners. Um, it's something we know a lot about at the moment, so I'm just going to get the chat open. Or at least we learned a lot about it at the weekend. Flipping Nora, we learned a heck of a lot <laughs> about it at the weekend. And uh, yeah, whilst you guys are hopping into the chat, there's a few of you now. Drop in the comments, say hi, let us know who's on tonight. <clears throat> and we will have a sip of tea and wait to see how many of you, six already. Say hello, people. Let us know who it is. Do you like my cup, by the way? <clears throat> this is what happens when you live with a house full of girls. Wrong side, mate. Spin it. I'm not a lefty. If I hold it's a it, lefty cup. It's a lefty cup. Oh, nice cup. I've got vodka in mine. That's how I'll end up looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'll end up looking when I see the Spurs result at the end. Jack, good evening. Jeffrey, good evening. Jeffrey, that cup. I know, right? <laughs> Cute. It's Cute. a lovely word. <laughs> Precious. Yeah. Um, Chris, good evening. How is everybody? And welcome. Um, 40. I know, mate. 1-0 already. Happy days, mate. Thank you for letting me know. I've, I, I've got the... Got the chat. He's got it on live BT Sport on his phone. We're multitasking. Well, I'm multitasking because he'd be distracted otherwise. Yeah, Jane, if the, the James, star of the show, the host, can't be distracted from the live, can he? If James drifts off to the side, you know what he's doing. He's looking. If he goes, goal! Um, uh, Chris, I was actually going to maybe touch on this topic in my next... Today we're talking. Good man, and so you should. Do it, mate. Do it. Um... Yes, mate, 40. We are, aren't we? Yeah, we're watching it here. Um, good evening, Corey, mate. How are you? I hope you are well. A local athletic club member joining the chat tonight. So, without further ado, let's talk about the mental mindset. Let's see. Let's get into a bit of a topic. Let's throw the discussion out there as well. We'll give you a little bit of feedback. You obviously watched our videos on the weekend <laughs> of how our half marathon went or didn't or went. didn't go just as a quick <laughs> question before we jump into this has anyone seen james's video that we uploaded tonight because it will give a bit of a clue as to what we are about to talk about it just put a yes or a no in the chat if you have um but uh yeah sunday was a funny one and i think it highlighted a massive um like i'm going through a different mind so james had uh, a mental mindset meltdown let's be realistic here mental mindset meltdown oh, yeah. on sunday i'm having one at the moment um and it's important i think that we talk about it because running isn't just you know we can do all the training in the world you know we can train hard but if something's not quite right up in here then it isn't going to go to plan so um jeffrey's seen your video chris hasn't seen your video uh jack's just <coughs> watched it so should we give it away give it away mate you can give, give it, it away. away go on the race is back on. <laughs> so Newport have managed to somehow secure the 18th of March as a new date, which took me by complete surprise, to be fair. Yeah. I didn't expect to have the race that soon. So um, yeah, it was out last night on a bit of a threshold session, and we are now back into taper mode <laughs> for a race in less than two weeks. Yeah, it's, it was a little bit, we're a little bit stuck as to what to do really, we've obviously tapered for four weeks, we're now going to like try and, or you're going to try and have a decent week this week and then another mini taper next week. Yeah. I'm just going to get through this week running easy and, uh, and then do a session next week, mm -hmm. but um, interestingly, if you watched my video of my injury update, I did that little time lapse of me and James chatting, and that's exactly what we were chatting about. And we were saying, weren't we? It won't be March. It's going to be later in the year. They can't do it. No. They have so much to sort out. All the organisations, the road closures, because it is a road closing uh, race. It's a road race. Yeah. They can't do it. Uh, here's my <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> this is annoyed me a lot. So this was announced on Thursday. The Forest of the Dean Half Marathon entry shut on Sunday the following Sunday, I needed a race. I booked on the Forest Dean Half Marathon on Sunday. On Monday, Newport announced that they were going to be running it on the 18th, which is the same day as the Forest one that I booked. 
but I booked it on Sunday because Forest was shutting the entry on Sunday. Otherwise, I'd have waited a couple of days. But then on the Monday, the Forest announced that they were going to keep it open for a couple of days. <laughs> so I've wasted 25 quid. Um, they were very good, though. They've transferred my entry to the autumn half marathon, which I was going to do anyway, free of charge. So kudos to the organisers for doing that. But yeah, we're on for it, aren't we, next week? Yeah, but we, we need to be a bit more sensible about this next couple of weeks which is yeah. why the topic of the talk is getting your head in the right space because clearly we didn't have our heads in the right space at the no. weekend otherwise well you saw the the outcome it was woeful my personal experience was slightly different to your personal experience but nonetheless we both as you saw from our videos took it a little bit yeah, but you were uh, honest jovial. That, was, that was commendable well yeah it was but at the same time we didn't start off particularly well did we like preparing our own race and setting up the whole the whole intro of the video was was fun and um it was oh, someone's ringing my phone that's all right really unprofessional answer it no it's all right you can do it live on camera live on camera um, it's somebody from work so you're not gonna answer that. <laughs> probably do you want ppi <laughs> well, who's, who's calling me at 20 to 9 um it's kind of it's one of those things that we went into it quite as you said jovially and we had a good fun setting it all up but I think now, being honest, um, I wouldn't shoot for a, a major PB. Like if I was, if I was two weeks after taper, or if it was on race day and my glute hadn't gone, then yeah, I would have fired for it. But with my glute in the situation it is, I did do a successful run this morning, um, and fingers crossed it continues that way. But I certainly won't be shooting for a 121 like I was on Sunday. I will just go for how I feel comfortable, maybe like a 123, 124 get my head happy that the fact that my glute is okay because at the moment my mental battle is that I uh, injured my glute I had a run today if zero was uh, no pain and 10 was uh, my leg is falling off I had zero pain but I had discomfort I had that feeling of when you have cramp and then the aftermath there's that discomfort and I felt that, and the whole way around that run this morning, five miles, I was thinking, when's it going to go? When's it going to go? When's it going to go? My 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 ass is going to spasm any second, <laughs> and um, you and I have most evenings I anyway. Do, yeah, <laughs> and I just I need to get a few runs under my belt and feel comfortable again that I'm not going to get to Newport injured or it's going to happen again. So mental mentally it's tough, and mentally that's already put me in the mindset that I don't want to shoot for a 121 because I went out fast. Hadn't run for five days before that, which wasn't normal, but that was the snow. Went out, cold weather, hadn't warmed up properly. Went out, did that to my glute and um, wore my racing shoes. And the last mm. time I wore my racing shoes, I got injured. So I'm now wondering if it's part of the shoes. So I certainly won't be wearing my racing flats. I'll be wearing my normal training shoes and just doing everything I can to minimize the risk. Um, what is going on in the chat? I'm missing loads. Yeah. Matt, we'll have to catch up on this one. James's video press. It. I know, mate. Are we still winning one nil? Let me just it's check. Time, mate. Uh, we're still in front one nil. Yes, mate. It is. Um, uh, should we put the question out to everybody else? And yeah. So how how do you cope with? I don't know the, the sort of anxiety of race day, or how do you cope with mental uh, battles of injuries? Yeah, the challenge of bringing yourself into the right headspace. How do you, how, what's the challenge coming back from an injury? If only the vegan runner was on because he has suffered a lot of injuries, he'd be able to talk about the mental side coming back into injuries. Um, yeah, like how do you mentally check into a race and how do you mentally deal with coming back from an injury and having that worry and putting it out of your head because I'm sure half the battle is if I go out and think about my glue it's going to make it ten times worse yeah, it'll hurt than more. if I don't think about it mm -hmm. but I can't help it yeah. you know, I'm going out again tomorrow in the hopes for another easy run a bit longer that I, I get less niggling and less pain yeah well I know for sure that what uh, being a race situation rather than how it was at the weekend which was clearly not a race situation you automatically start thinking about things differently and psychologically you're in a different space yeah definitely but the difficulty you've got is thinking about an injury and preventing it from getting worse or I'm worrying up that it to is race going to cause you any more issues so my injury happened when I went to do a race running fast now there are so many other factors in there like the fact that I hadn't run for five days, like <coughs> I was wearing my racing flats, like that it was slippery, like that it was blooming cold. 
Um, to be fair, it was busy as well. There were cars. We were jumping everywhere. off and on the snow, yeah. and that's apparently what my problem was: is I slipped and hurt my ankle on the slow which at the time I know I did but I didn't think about it and that ended up being and so for me now all I can think about is when I go to Newport don't go out too hard don't go out you know x y and z because you're just going to do it again and I want to go and enjoy Newport and I actually would rather run a 140 or run 50 enjoying the race knowing I'm not going to get injured than shooting for a PB at the moment but I, I do want to get into that mindset where I can go out there and just lay it all on the line yeah we started to get some responses to the questions as well kevin watching from canada <coughs> mate thank you so much for tuning in really appreciate it um whoa hello which is mostly people saying, Blimey, hello, saying hello so hello jeffrey kevin always said hello to jeffrey and chris uh, lizzie runs far good evening lizzie thank you so much for joining in uh, alan good evening mate i hope you are well run frederick run good evening you are in sweden good evening we still have a little bit of snow. I'm sure you have a lot of snow, <laughs> a lot more. Um, 40, half time, I'm still here. Good man. I asked um, Chris, who is 40, to yeah. uh, drop in at half time and tell me the score because he is a Spurs fan and legend that he is. is keeping me updated. Um, for a race, so from, from Chris, 40 runs, uh, for a race, I think it's about finishing, forget aspirations of time really? then when i'm out there and feel okay i pick it up but race day i just go there basically not caring which is kind of the attitude that i want to go with to be honest with you normally i hype myself up so flipping much um jeffrey i've oh yeah jeffrey has his ultra in three weeks time and he only went out for his um first 5k in two weeks like the other day really? yesterday yeah are you are you still injured Jeffrey, I think you, he's just getting, coming getting back. back to life again now. The ribs and because that was quite a big fall. You said, sorry, we were sort of going off tangent a little bit. Let us know how you're feeling. Yeah, <laughs> you did another rate run today, didn't you? A bit longer, which is good. Um, he's in the I don't give a fluff um, <laughs> attitude for it, and I'm just going to take it as it comes on the day. That is perfect, mate. Good man, Chris. Hate it being injured yeah and you've been there mate you had a massive injury last year didn't you makes me scared nervous for coming back but if you follow the plan follow the steps and recover you should not have this issue since november for me i've proved this you have mate you've come back from your injury you've come back stronger better faster and that's all i'm going to do is continue my exercises that chris has given me and hope that by next week after a few runs under my belt i'll feel confident again um Oh, good evening, Rich, mate. How are you? Oh, we need to... Right, quick, Rich has reminded me. I'm going to post a link into the chat. Rich Bays 187 I'm sure you all love his channel. Um, he is up for a running award. Uh, and he had there uh, is um, 10 weeks, uh, 10 days or a week left until you can vote for him. And it, he would really appreciate your vote. So I'm going to slap this link in the chat. Uh, go and vote for him for the best blog. He blooming well deserves it. Uh, I think I've put that in. Yes, I have. Um, so he took himself for three months in 2013. I hated coming back from injury. I kept going out at a pace I do before injury, blowing up and getting frustrated. Took ages to accept slower pace and rebuild. Yeah, so I went out this morning, just took it really easy. And I must admit, I didn't have that problem. I was I was so overcautious and went slower. But then I did pick it up a little bit at the end because I was feeling yeah. all right. I was going to say, I saw your splits. You weren't taking it that easy. Not at the end, mate. No, <laughs> I was hitting half. I did four, like, 10-second strides at half marathon pace just to, to test it. And actually, it felt more comfortable running quicker than it did slower. Yeah, it's funny how it works sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. And again, do you think that's psychological then? Do you think... Or did, obviously, you were in some discomfort, but do you think it's psychological that... Yeah. It, it was more in your head do you know creating what I the pain than it was you actually feeling probably. the pain and discomfort because if you're running fast it's not probably it's because it's i've been stretching. working a lot on rocking and rolling my shoulders because i'm very like ripped at here and i just yeah. i move like a robot so this morning you dance like that too don't you i'm a good dancer <laughs> ladies um and my camera's moved and um you can see my rubbish up in the top corner there move and basically, I went out there this morning. Stand here like this. Where's the rest of the rubbish? Don't yeah, it's all right. I'll do my mate. It's only stationary. Um, and <laughs> I went out there this morning, and I just, the first two miles, I was very rigid. And then I thought, no, Chris has been teaching me to be a lot more fluid, running through the motions, the full gait cycle. Your shoulders have got to go with your, your legs. And, um, and the second I started doing that, is the second the pain started to ease a bit. Mm -hmm. So I think it's about mentally 
Just relaxing. Doing easy runs and doing a form checklist as you're running. Is my <laughs> neck tucked? Is my is my head up straight? I'm not stooping over looking at the ground. Is my head up? Are my shoulders rocking? Are my legs going straight? Are my arms working with me or against me? That sort of thing. Um, it's a lot to think about. It is, mate, especially when you're six foot six. Um, we're gonna chat. We're gonna uh, hop over to James's um, mental. Uh, th- okay, before we go through any more questions, Lizzie, uh, glad, glad to check it out. Getting now, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. In James's video, flipping Nora, linear partlet flooded. A bit sloshy last night. Mental. Maybe we've got some extra rivers. We have. <laughs> that's nice. So, um, obviously, that's my mental injury. So, James went out on Sunday, and if you saw his video, obviously, he checked out the half marathon pretty quickly on, on the miles that we, <laughs> we turny turnied on the first mile, and he just went, nah, I'm not feeling this. I don't want to do this anymore. And um, he was kind of like, by mile four or five, done. So, have you guys ever been in a race mentally and not been there? And how have you dealt with that? Because I think you came out of that going... I'm not built for speed, and I'm going, yes, you are. You are blooming quick, and you are well on for a 122, 123 half marathon, but you've got to believe in it. I, I believe in it. I, I you believe I can it. do it. Yeah, but, but the, the industrial that, estate the, wasn't the, the place. No, that, that wasn't the place. It, what, that, that wasn't the time. No. <laughs> time or the place was not on the industrial estate. I think we just took it so blooming stupidly. Back. Yeah, And that was the thing of it. I think that was part of part of the problem and in a way I'm really pleased that Newport managed to rearrange the race so yeah. soon because I'm still in that physical State space to go and run I'm still the fitness is there I haven't I can't do any damage in the next two weeks I can no. only add to what's already there I'm still in the same I'm still peaking exactly and actually it gives you a chance of redemption which is what my video today that's gone out is is titled chance yeah. of redemption and because I just and, and I came across really blasé about it. And to, to this point, good. I was really blasé about it. But that's not because I didn't care that uh, what it wasn't the race. If no. it was the race, it would be different. If, no. I'd, if I'd have gone to the race and pulled up at four and a half miles going on board, I would be, <laughs> I would be devastated yeah. because that's what I've worked hard for. I haven't worked hard to run on the industrial estate. No. I didn't even get a medal for it. No. I, mean, for I did. Sake, I did. It's on my medal rack. No T-shirt. It's right in the middle. No medal, no banana at the end. There was none of that stuff. I had nothing to look forward to. No, there was nothing. I could have just buried myself in the snow. <laughs> but that was what it was. And, and you know what? I, I do care. I'm really passionate about my sport, which is, which is running in general, and being fit and healthy. And that didn't come across in any of the commentary on the video no but i am really passionate about my own ability and improving i don't like running roads that's a fact no and i don't make any bones about that but at the same time i think that going into the race now and it being a race situation it'll be completely different to how it was at the weekend and it'll be like phew, game face we're on yeah yeah rocking up with all those people and now he's injured i can try and beat andy <laughs> <laughs> right, this chat is filling up, mate. We need to whiz through some of these. Um, Rich uh, eventually <clears throat> had to accept that I was not fit. Just yeah, yeah, I agree, mate. Um, luckily, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of there. I'm in the state that I'm just going out. So worried that I am going to injure myself that I'm taking it completely by feel. Um, Chris, need to remember that we set goals. We don't have to meet them. It's about taking the challenge. I always find that I'm nervous on race day, but that's excitement, not stress. Yeah, and that's mm. that's kind of how I'm trying to see it now, is that we've done 16 weeks of training, and um, at the end of the day, that 16 weeks come the summer is going to be um, incredible um, for training, not only just for the races, so mm. I agree. Um, oh, Oliver Renison, he is a local uh, athletics club member. Good evening, mate. Thank you so much for chipping in. Um Race day, I start off going for a pace, but if I, if I start to slip, I just have to go for a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. So I think when you, when you go out, let's say you went out eight minute mile pace for argument's sake, and then you see your miles go for a to eight ten, to eight twenty, to eight thirty, to eight forty. There's a point where you've got to stop stressing and just go. Do you know what? Whatever. Just finish. Just finish. Mm-hmm. Um, Lizzie runs far. It is like taking a test. You'll be, you will have studied. Yeah, you'll put in the work. You know the material. But come test race day, you freeze up. Yeah, so in my pre-video, and you did it as well, we did some stats. Like we ran over, was it over a 1,000 miles and about 30,000 foot of elevation just for 
eighteen point one in miles. Sixteen weeks. It's ridiculous. Yeah, five um, hundred. No, sorry, I've got that shot. Five hundred miles over sixteen weeks, with most of that being run at sub seven thirty pace. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Which is bonkers. And that's that's we've put a lot of effort into this, and then I think part of what happened on Sunday was the disappointment in it not being a race, of actually yeah. knowing all of what we've done. And you've seen the videos, like the yeah. amount of... The amount sweat of and tears. Li- and, and other bodily fluids that have been left on the industrial estate by me over the course of the last 16 weeks. The last thing I wanted to do was run on a bloody thing again. Yeah, <laughs> it was like looking at it and going, oh, not again. Yeah. Um, uh, Fordy's voted for Rich. Well done, Rich. Cheers. Uh, Dominique says, hi, good evening. I hope you are well. Um, I hope you enjoyed your medal recently. Um, uh, Jeffrey, James, rip is hundred percent now. Good man. Awesome. Haven't felt it since Monday. Three runs down this week and feeling much better. Awesome. Good stuff. Run Frederick, run. Oh yes, the snow is still here, but I'm so tired of it. When it comes to injuries, I must say I've been super lucky. I've not had a major injury yet. Fingers crossed. But I think it's key. But I think they're key. yeah. So uh, they're key for getting back and taking things slow. They are, and I'll be honest. Touch wood. I haven't had major injuries. Again, I'm touching wood that this isn't a major one. I ran on Sunday. I ran again today. It's Wednesday. So, fingers crossed, it's on the mend. A lot of my injuries, I get a functional um, because my back is so buggered up. Um, but I, I commented on, not when we were running, but after, that your feet did look a bit... Yeah. You, you weren't looking so Normal, normal. No. And Whether that was because already you'd done an injury and you were tweaking a little bit. Possibly. Possibly. But maybe those racing flats aren't suitable. No, they're not, mate. I'm not. I'm not going to use them again. No, that's for sure. Um, <coughs> Chris, yet yeah, four years, and I still get excited for every race. Oliver, I did the Forest Christmas tree. I've never done that, mate. I need to one year, and I did nothing for a month before, as I've been injured. Within three miles, I was struggling and quit. Oh no, I've never run that one. I really want to try and do that one this year. But I know what you mean. It's really difficult when you want to just jump into something, but then you go out at a pace that you used to be able to hold, but obviously you can't. Um, Chris, nervous. Those two are chatting. I'm sorry, I'm going to move through a few because we are getting a lot. And while you guys are chatting between you, which is awesome, and keep doing it. Um, Run with style. Good evening, mate. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, I'm a new subscriber to your channel. I believe you're a new subscriber to mine. Uh, subscriber to mine. This is James. If you don't know James, he's on most of my videos, and I'm on most of his. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, collaboration. Yeah. Um, Elaine, good evening. Nice to have you in the chat. Um, thank you for joining us. Race at a comfortable pace to get through it in a marathon, but sometimes beat myself up for not pushing. That's so a, that's, that's a really tough thing to do, though, isn't, isn't it? In a marathon, it just... it's balancing the effort, and then oh, look, we I... can't comment on that because we never <laughs> run comfortably in a marathon. Have no, we? so but I wish I could. I don't know. London, London. I did. London was in. I was in the right place physically. But I think. I think. I think when you say um, comfortable, you were running comfortably uncomfortable, which is the right zone. Uh, I think comfortably is is easy pace. Yeah, I don't do easy pace in a race. No, well, I, I'm not saying easy, but as in <clears throat> well within your means. Let's put it that way. I get too carried away sometimes. I think. I think and I've that's... run well within my means once, and then at the end, I realised I was that close to the end that I just put the hammer down for the last mile and you know, it's, like it's, you said kicked myself for not pushing it's really difficult though because you always well I say I'm, I'm, on my, I'm on my own I always get to the end of the race and start questioning whether I could have done more yeah and it's really difficult to find that balance isn't it if you push too hard you're, you're toast yeah but if you get to the end of the race and you feel like you could have done more could you have done more and then you start asking more questions yeah. it's, it's all psychological isn't it it is the mental aspect yeah um Right, any so we're we're coming near-ish to the end of the live stream. Um, we'll wrap it up in about seven or eight minutes or so. If you have any other general questions, guys, for James or me, just whack them in the chat. Um, you're doing amazingly in there. There's 18 people watching right now. Really appreciate this. Getting a great little community going here with all these live streams. So thank you so much for all for joining <coughs> in. Chris says, but also there's no adrenaline or excitement. When yeah. you're not in the race environment, exactly. So there was, which is exactly, is a huge factor. So we stood there <laughs> and we, excuse my language, we pissed about a bit. Let's be realistic. Like we filmed that the, start. And this went, is our yeah, aid station. This is our start line. This is our start line. We're corralled. Yeah. yeah. We, just, we just didn't take it serious, did we? No. And <clears> uh, <throat> that adrenaline is awesome. Just, I like to get my head in the zone, hear the gun go off, and then 
I do what I like to do what Ben Barrow said, which um, if you don't know Ben's channel, he trained for the Houston half marathon runner one oh six, and I don't, him, I, I don't know what I can't do that. But he said that he likes to run past people and listen to their breathing, and if they're breathing harder than him, it gives him confidence, and that's something I've done like forever. I always keep my breathing under control, and I go past people and I think you're not going to make it at that pace, and I. That breeds confidence, and that's what I did at Lisbury, and that's how I managed to run a good race. Is that I kept it under control. When, if my breathing went like theirs, I slowed back a bit, and and that's an interesting thing. Um, Elaine, it's so hard, isn't it? If you risk getting it all wrong and blow it, it sucks. But you never risk. You'll never know your full potential. One marathon soon, just go for it and see what happens. Yeah, I think it's a case of going out there and seeing what happens. Obviously, you run the risk of being a bit demoralised at the end, like we were when you. Do go out too hard, but actually, do you know what? I crave. I suppose I did it last year when I did my own marathon, and I and I ran even splits the whole way through, and I was really pleased. I didn't fade once, but I want to do that in a competitive environment now. Watch this space. <laughs> um, announcement coming soon. Hint, hint. Um, that's what I'm counting on for adrenaline to get me through my sub one twenty for the fifteen k on the eighteenth. Ah, you're running the same day as we are, so we shall wish each other luck. That's awesome. So um, he'll be finished 12 hours before we will. Yeah, he will, yeah. <laughs> he'll be finished. Yeah, yeah. He'll have had his nachos and beer by the time we've finished. By the time we're done. Well, I quite like that as a race breakfast. Eh? Yeah, oh, nachos. <laughs> you have nacho night, don't you, mate? I see on your Instagram. It's freaking amazing. They look lush. <laughs> I love nachos. Um, Yaddy, is that how to pronounce your name? Th Hi, guys. Great to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you for joining in. Um, and welcome to the melee of the chat. Uh, last five minutes, guys. So any any questions for me or James, just put them in there. Or any other mental aspect questions of running, just chip in. Ash, uh, Alex, good evening, mate. Um, chin up, keep working hard. Definitely, mate. Will do. Will do. And thank you. Um, I will just say, actually, that Alex does a lot of videos on his channel about the mental mindset of things. He's got a really good resource. So do go and check his videos out. Um uh, 40. Good point there, Andy. Are you breathing? I mean, actually, mate, I watched your London Half video. I commented on the other day and you were so enthusiastic. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah, I commented. I said that he was more enthusiastic Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Crowd. Shouting, at, <laughs> shouting at the people saying, come on, yeah, smile at the camera. And I just thought that was brilliant. I yeah. would never be in a position in a race like that to shout. I'd be so in the zone. But I really <laughs> admired how you soaked it all up. And I think if I, I want to run the London Marathon... And that's how I want to feel running it. I want to take everything in and appreciate it. I don't go to London much, so I want to be able to go in there and um, just absorb it all. Yeah, I didn't. That was my problem. I think at yeah. London's, I, I ran it rather than enjoyed the occasion. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's, um, that's the difference. Uh, Chris, yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, gels, do you use them in your long run training runs? No, I don't use gels. Um, nor do I. I don't use any fuel. So. I've basically built up to the point where I did some fasting runs in the week. Uh, my weekday, some of my weekday runs are fasted. Like this morning I went out at six o'clock, no food, no drink, nothing. I build that mileage up. I then moved it to a long run and I go out for my long run usually on just like a plain tortilla wrap or two. Because uh, we have a joke, we get about halfway through and I say I've burnt through one wrap, one more to go. <laughs> um, but that's all I run on and then I don't use any fueling and gels. You don't now either, do you? No, not to gels. So. Um, no, it gets you more efficient, uh, at, but it takes time to get to that point. So don't, like, if you do use gels, just go out and don't use gels. What I'd recommend is if you do, go out one day, don't use them, get to a point, stay local to your house, go out and get comfortable and when you feel tired stop so you're not too far from home and then just progress it that way um i loved it thanks guys i probably had too much fun mate that's what it's all about mm -hmm. um how many years have you both been running i've been running for this is my i've been running three and a three i started on january the first 2015 so this i'm entering my fourth year i've run for three years and two months mm. so i started in may 2015 must have been so nearly three so years just coming up to three years properly anyway properly yeah i ran the forest half marathon in 2007 on a diet of takeaways and running twice a week uh and then i never ran again until Nothing's 2015 changed. no <laughs> i had a fry up tonight for dinner <laughs> um uh Raphael. thought i'd already missed the stream welcome mate um 
we're right at the end, so any questions, mate, just fire them in there. But I'm really enjoying your videos, and I actually, I know I said this to you, but I really enjoyed your live stream listening to you. So he's a 2.41 marathoner. I know. He's a decent I runner. Know. I've seen a couple of your um, runs on Strava recently. You did, you did a 3 by 6 k tonight in 22 minutes for, for 6 k It's insane, mate. I mean, I couldn't even dream of that. You did the 3 by 5 k the other week, mate, at yeah. 8, 18.30, 18 18.20 or something, and I was like... You know what? I could do that once. Yeah, <laughs> not three times. <laughs> not three times. <laughs> Build up to that one. <laughs> um, Jeffrey, hi, Raphael. Did a video on gels previously in my take. I also don't use them. No, I mean, I in races, I use, I use them. I have a gel and a half marathon at mile ten because it gives me that kick to the end. But because I don't use them, it gives me more impact in a race. So mile 10 comes around, I, I, I usually chuck a gel in mm -hmm. um, and it gives me a real good boost. <clears> but <throat> on the whole, I don't use them. Um, I tend to go by the amount of time I'm expected to be out for. So if I'm going out and I'm doing, a, if I'm doing 15 miles with 3,000 feet of elevation, I know I'm going to be out for a good amount of time. So I take something with me, like Tailwind, or I will have an emergency gel. And I've been known to dive oh, yeah. into the emergency gel, but probably for the last year, I've not taken any gels on a long no. run. Nice, which, um, which makes it all the better when you're doing the race. So, I think anyway. Um, Raphael says it's all in the genes. <coughs> I do agree, mate. You you are a very very talented runner. Um, as a good strategy, I also use a special caffeine shot only in races. Yeah, I think because we train without them, it just gives you. It's like coffee. If you have coffee all the time, then. Uh, the the effects of the caffeine are not going to be as beneficial as if you had it like once. Like I don't drink. I probably have one cup of tea a day maximum, and that is this one. Um, I just I just don't have anything with caffeine in it. So when I do, I'm like wired. Um, <laughs> See, I drink too much coffee. Uh, Bay's just sub to Raphael and Lizzie as far. Fantastic. I mean, guys, you know, a lot of you do have channels. Check them all out. This is the idea of these live chats. Uh, bringing the community together, doing more things together. We are stronger together for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, I did try no jails base and started to struggle at mile 15 and 20 mile long run last Sunday. However, I'm trying to fast, but it's hard. Do you know what, mate? If you're already getting to 15 miles without having to need a gel, that's incredible. That's brilliant starting point. Take it mile by mile. And do you know what I do? I get to mile 15 and then have a gel and then see how far I can go after that and then maybe get to mile 16 and have a gel and and just do it slowly mate you're you're it's not like you're starting from scratch 15 miles is freaking brilliant and do you know what we went through that same process yeah so exactly what we did and do you know it, it gets harder but the longer you the longer you train yourself that way the easier it becomes i don't even think about it now i do 20 no. mile i do 20 mile long runs without anything at all now and, and there, i don't there need are to times when we get on the struggle bus oh yeah, yeah if, just... if we pick a hilly route yeah, yeah we're really struggling at the end but if we pick a flat one we don't struggle, do we? Not really, no. Um, James, not as so much coffee as me. <laughs> coffee addict. Yeah. Right, guys, we're going to wrap this up in right now. So, any last questions, fire them in there. But, um, Baze, Addy, and yes, you'll feel crappy for sure. But if you do it week in, week out, that will go exactly. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining in. Really appreciate it tonight. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. You guys have been amazing. You've had, We've had... We've had 22 people watching at one point. This live stream is growing week in, week out, which is awesome. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining in uh, and contributing. We love to throw things out to you. Just, you know, get your points of points of view, your feedback. It's, it's not just about you sitting here listening to us. It's about what you think as well. Um, uh, great stuff. Catch you soon. Still 1-0. Let's hope we finish the job, mate. Um... Run with still. Have a good one, mate. Thank you so much for joining in. Really appreciate it. When's the next live stream? I loved it. Mate, thank you so much. We do them every other week um, because I'm trying to do another series of when collaborators collide on the following Wednesday. So I'm alternating at the moment. So two weeks time, which will be uh, the... Sunday after the race. Yeah, be so the Wednesday, Wednesday after, after the race. race yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Raphael, sorry, Mr. Start a review. Mate, don't worry about it. Just... Whenever. We really appreciate you tuning in. Um, Jeffrey, going to go to penalties? No, mate. You're just jealous that we are better than you. Um, Who's better than who? He sports Man United. Oh, does he? What a load of... Um, I'll probably do one on Sunday evening. Good man. Good man. I'll try and tune in if I'm around. Um, <coughs> right. 
Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Really appreciate it, as always. If you enjoyed this live stream, obviously, please do give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And also, if you enjoyed it with Muggins here as well, it is more fun when there's two of us because we can bounce ideas off each other. And maybe on the next one, if I survive the race and you survive the race, we can do a race catch-up, a mm -hmm. race recap, and take some questions and that sort of thing. But anyway, really appreciate it, guys. You're all saying good night. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please do give it a like. As I said, it does help the channel. Share it with your friends and subscribe for, I say weekly running content. It is weekly. It's multiple times a week. I'm trying to churn out these videos for you. Um, and yeah, we will see you next time. So next live, two weeks time. We'll see you then. Until next time. Ciao.